I'm Natasha, and today we're doing another unboxing! <laughs> I have three boxes in today's video. I have two boxes that I have never opened before in my life. First, I have World of Wizardry. This is a UK box full of Harry Potter goodies. Sans crate joy. Next, I have a Lumi crate, and this is the Howler edition. I am so excited to open up this box. All of the Howlers have been raving about this box all over social media, and I can't wait to see what's inside. And then last, I have apostrophe, whoa, book box. All these boxes are rather large. Like, they're hefty boxes. They're not like the little tiny boxes that I get like, with jewelry and stuff. I'm assuming almost all these, aside from wizardy world world of wizardry have books in them this is definitely a purely bookish unboxing if you guys didn't know I am one of crate joys ambassadors and I have been doing unboxings for them for a very long time I work with them to explore new boxes on the site if you guys are interested in any of the boxes that I unbox in today's video I'll have them all linked down below for your viewing pleasure to figure out how much they cost where they ship from all that fun stuff this mighty haul I feel like I should open up the box that I've opened before. Where's my scissors? Oh, it already has a little thingy. Oh, that's so convenient. It has a little pulley, so that makes things much easier for me. So World of Wizardry is basically like an epic Harry Potter box. They've got so many cool things and a lot of custom made stuff in this box. It's from the UK, so it takes a bit to get to you if you live in the US or outside of the UK. Ooh, it's green for Slytherin. I think for World of Wizardry, you have to put in like your house details and your shirt size because sometimes they give you shirts. And so that way you have everything custom made for you. In this box, I have a shirt. Yes. I have so many Harry Potter shirts now because of all of these fun boxes. Ambition. This is a Slytherin shirt. I don't have a Slytherin shirt in my repertoire. So I'm assuming they must have Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and Gryffindor shirts. I see this long box and I feel like it's going to be a wand. So I'm real excited. Am I right? I think I'm right. Right? <gasps> I have a wand! I don't know whose wand this is. Is this like a custom wand? Wingardium Leviosa. This is Ron's wand. Oh, is this the one that he breaks? Eat slugs! <laughs> so next I have this wizardry cookbook. Recipes from the wizarding world. So I know that there's like a real one of these that exists in the world, but I wonder what this is. Is this like purely made for this box. Okay, it looks like things are measured in milliliters and grams. That's not how Americans work. Cook and eat like your favorite witches and wizards. Every month for the next year, you will receive two recipes in your World of Wizardry box, which can all be added to your trusty dusty wizardy cookbook binder. I added the trusty dusty part. It looks like I have Harry Potter's birthday cake. Yes. That's so cute. What kind of cake is it? I didn't know this, but it looks like the frosting is actually raspberry frosting because they use raspberry jam. Next we have butterscotch hot chocolate. Golden flying cake pops. Those are cute. Cake pops are a nightmare though, so I won't be making those. What's this? 3D bookmarks. That's what it says on the box. Whoa. Oh, <gasps> how cool is that? You've got some Quidditch boots for Gryffindor. So this is a 3D bookmark. You know, you can mark your page and have Harry's boots sticking out of the bottom of your book. All right, we have another little box. Oh, this says the Wizarder. It looks like we have Luna Lovegood's spectacles on the front. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh, it's Luna's glasses as a necklace. These are really cool. Look how cool these are. Last in the box, we have an art print. Oh, it's the little guy. A bow struckle? A bow struckle from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is a geek gear box. I forgot. I wondered why it was like World of Wizardry. I never really called it that. It's geek gear World of Wizardry box. I got some really epic things in that box. I think I'm most excited about uh, Ron's wand because I don't actually have one of the character's wands. I have my own wand, which is a willow wand, and then I have a custom made wand from one of my viewers who gave it to me. Apostrophe box. I have never heard of. It showed up on my door and I was like, okay, I'm opening this up. Okay, so I just looked up what apostrophe box is. Books and coffee. Uh, I like books and I like coffee, so this would be great. Let's open it up. 
Ooh. So it smells very strongly of coffee. Oh, I'm excited. So far, I don't know if I have any coupon codes. If I do, then they'll be, you know, shared down below with the links as well. Oh, yay! Crinkle crap. And it's black crinkle crap. Kind of looks like little spiders. It's a lovely thought. By the way, if you guys have never heard of Crate Joy, it's a marketplace full of subscription boxes. And so basically it's like a large search engine and you can find whatever subscription box you would ever want to subscribe to. They've got beauty, fitness, food, obviously geek stuff and bookish stuff and just a lot of good boxes on there. Obviously, I like to focus on the fangirl bookish boxes because that's what I'm passionate about. This month's coffee is sure to set fire under you and get you moving on these cold winter mornings. It's not cold in California. Let's try not to make a mess with the crinkle crap. Oh, I have a pin. Oh, I have a nice pin. Is it an adult thing to get excited about pins? Because I don't buy them anymore. I just happen upon them. And this one actually says words are magic. <laughs> no, it stuck to it. Oh my like god. Whoa, what is this? Capico. Capico? Co these, I don't know what these are. This is what it is. I'm assuming that we don't sell this in America. It's like a coffee, like sucky candy thing. That's good. It reminds me of the C's candy the coffee um, lollipops that they sell. <laughs> so I think this was the bag of coffee that they were referencing and it's all ground, so that's great. Mmm, if this is a dark roast, that would be awesome. This is called Fire Department Coffee, roasted in Rockford, Illinois. I like really dark roast because I like my coffee strong. So let's hope that Fire Department Coffee is dark. I don't want any of that blonde stuff. Oh, I think this is like a little journal. Nice little journal that has apostrophe book box on the front of it. I think I have a coaster, so I have a coffee coaster. Also, happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book. Last, we have the book. I feel like I must have read one of Joe Hill's books. How do I know him? This is his book called Strange Weather. This is blurred by George R. R. Martin. I mean, Joe Hill's number one New York Times bestselling author. Oh, Horns. He wrote Horns, that movie with Daniel Radcliffe. This book is a collection of four chilling short novels, ingeniously wrought gems of terror from the brilliantly imaginative number one New York Times bestselling author of The Fireman. Okay, okay. Yeah, so- Oh! Okay, so there's four different four short stories and then there's like a little synopsis of each story. Uh, this is supposed to be a horror book. The cover's kind of creepy. Oh, Last box is the Howler box. I still have this coffee sucky in my mouth. Daphne, the creator of Illumicrate, reached out and asked if I would like to open the Howler box. I was like, oh, uh, yes. When I saw that it was announced, I was like, I need that box. Can I just open it? Do I tear something? It's taped and glued shut. How do I open it? I'm gonna break a nail. I'm gonna destroy this. How? How? How do I open this? It's still not open. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Here we go, the holler edition of Illumi Crate. Oh, we got some yellow crinkle crap. I do have some Pierce Brown videos coming. We filmed like the week before the book came out and I just haven't gotten around to editing them yet. Ooh, a mug. There's so much stuff in here. I think this box was around like $100 with shipping. Quite expensive, but what I'm seeing in here might be worth it. This is the keychain, Sophocles. So this is a pet fox to the Telemonises. Oh, look at me. I'm remembering facts. Looks like we have a Reaper enamel pin. Death is my shadow. Here's the pin. So cool. Here's Sophocles. Oh, Hamanthus Bloth. Blah, 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 blah. Hamanthus. Haman. I've never pronounced that one out loud either. Hamanthus Blossom. This is a lip balm. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's really soft. There's already three things. I haven't even got to this mug yet. Okay, so we have a mug. Omnis Verlupus, Team Howlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, a metal mug, you know, like the kind that you take candy. This is really cool. I want to know, like, what other fans of his series have thought about this. We have a large tote bag. This is pretty big. Hicksant Leons. Yes. If you've never obviously read Red Rising and you, you know, need to, these are all sayings from the Red Rising series. So a lot of the sayings are in Latin. They all have to do with different families and different aspects and groups that 
are in the Red Rising books. If you're not a fan of Red Rising, you probably obviously won't understand this or appreciate it. If you've never read it, it's, you know, a space opera set in our solar system. It's so good. I talked about the series for years. If you haven't read it yet, do it! And it just gets better! Keep reading if you're only 50 pages into Red Rising! Oh my gosh! We have a red beanie that says break the chains on it. Oh, this is so cool! Darrow's wife, Eo, they're both reds in Red Rising. Her saying is break the chains. Break the chains. I'm gonna get real hot real soon though. Okay, what is this? <gasps> I have socks! These are so cool! Oh my god. Gosh. They have all of the house sigils from Red Rising. We follow Darrow to a school. Everyone gets put into a house. And they're red and gold. Colors have a lot to do in the Red Rising books because everything in the first three is built on a color cast system. Golds are the highest, reds are the lowest. These are cool! More clothing items. Here are the bath salts. Iron Rain Epsom bath salt. My brother literally was just like, do we have Epsom salt? I'm like, no. Now we do! I don't know, is this a patch? Let's see if I can say it. Per Aspra Ad Astra. This is mainly said in Morningstar, which is the third book. Next, we have a little book sticker thing that you can put in your iron gold. Signed by Pierce. Cool. I mean, I know him. <laughs> oh, next we have a, a sticker that has all the colors on it. Now, I could probably explain to you what all these colors mean. You should just read the books. Favorite color, I really like the blues. They're like the pilots of the ships and I really enjoy the character that's in Morningstar. I mean also the golds because Victorus is one of my favorite characters. Oh we have a coaster. Oh we have the son of Ares coaster. We have bookmarks. Holy moly. Holy moly. So we have a several bookmark. I feel like this must be Ragnar. Is this Cassius? This is Mustang? D Darrow? I've never pictured Darrow with long hair so that's weird. And they're double-sided. These are beautiful. I love these. Then we have a letter from Pierce. Let's see what he says. I was a strange kid. <laughs> Literally, just watch my interview and you'll know what this says. What is this? Peraspa Adastra. Why do I have to say it like that? Oh, we have a little notebook. Is this an art print? There's so many things in this box. I can't. This is Severo and Darrow bumping fists. They're cool bros. A friendship that I adore. Oh, a 2018 calendar featuring the words of Pierce brown made exclusively for illuminate by hey atlas so let's see what march is because that's my birthday the reaper has come and he's brought hell with him that was what my birth means yes holy moly why is this so much thicker than the u.s version oh man i thought i was gonna have the red pages but this is the uk edition i think of iron gold the difference is it's red with brown. No, that's black lettering on the side. So that's it for my unboxing, my January unboxing. All the boxes will be linked down below. Thank you so much to the curators for sending me such amazing boxes. I couldn't believe that Lumicrate box. There was like so much in there, but everything will be linked down below if you guys want to check stuff out. Thank you all so much for watching my newest unboxing. I'm Natasha. If you guys want to continue watching more unboxings, I'll have the playlist linked at the end screen for your viewing pleasure. Thank you so much. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!